In this video, we will introduce H5P and its Moodle content bank. We'll also discuss how H5P content is integrated with Moodle, as well as how to create new H5P content within the content bank and editing the H5P content after it has been created. H5P is just an abbreviation for HTML5 package, which allows you to make and share interactive content such as presentations, videos, and other media, questions, quizzes, games, and more. You can think of it as an easy way to make interactive and engaging content. Even though H5P has its own website for tutorials and examples, you should make all your H5P items directly within Moodle. No separate account or websites needed. On your Moodle course page, the content bank can be accessed by clicking More from the main course page. Then scroll down and click on Content Bank. This content bank is the space within your Moodle course where H5P content is created, uploaded, and stored. Once I'm in the content bank, you'll notice a few buttons, two of which are the most important for us. The first is a blue Add button, which is where I can open a menu to select the type of H5P content I wish to create here directly within Moodle. The second is a gray upload button, which is for uploading H5P files you may have downloaded to your computer from another site, course, or location. We won't talk about this option much here, but you can import H5P content from other courses you teach, or you can download the file from your other course and use this button to upload it into this course. Either way, importing or uploading works. If I end up with a lot of H5P content, I can use the search bar to search for existing content within the content bank. Make sure you name your content something appropriate so you can easily find it by searching. I can also use these two buttons on the right to change the way I view content within the content bank and see how it's differently displayed. Let's make an H5P activity now. First, click on the blue Add button. Here you will see a menu showing various types of H5P activities you can create. For our example here, I will choose multiple choice. Before I get started, I want to point out that some of the more complex H5P activities have links for examples and tutorials on how to build them. These instructions take you to the official H5P site. You'll be able to browse the content on that site without needing to log into that site. However, the multiple choice questions activity type is pretty straightforward, and those links at the top are not provided for this activity type. Each type of H5P activity has its own steps involved in creating them. Go through the required fields within the setup that have the red stars next to them. These steps can be easy, and if there are spots for feedback or tips, you can enter that great interactive stuff too. Once I've entered the required areas to create my H5P activity, I will click the blue Save button at the bottom of the screen. This will save and display my activity on my screen. I can test it out here and check it. I will then click the Exit button to bring us back into the Content Bank page where I can see my activity displayed. If I want to access the activity again, all I have to do is click on it. With my activity open, you will see the blue edit button that allows me to edit the activity. The more button also appears, allowing me to rename the activity, replace the file, download it as an H5P file to my computer, or delete the activity from my content bank. Why would you want to download the H5P file? It is helpful when sharing H5P activities with other faculty for them to use in their courses. You can't open H5P files on your computer, but they can be stored in your content bank and open in your content bank. For your own courses, however, most faculty will import the activity just like all their other Moodle content. One final note is that the H5P content bank is hidden to students. You will need to add an H5P activity to your course page in order for the students to access the activity. Also, students don't have access to H5P and they're unable to make their own H5P activities within Moodle. In other words, you can't assign your students to make their own things in H5P. Need more help? For technical support, contact the ELA support team by clicking the Get Help button at the top of any Moodle page.
For ELIS, instructional design services like lessons and course building, email idteam at oakland.edu.